On this episode of the workshop, Steve Barrett will walk through how to connect pipe using socket welding to in turn demonstrate how the Watts Triton pipe fusion system is able to speed up and simplify the welding process while also ensuring safety for the user. Hi, my name is Steve Barrett. This morning we're going to discuss socket fusion for plastic pipe. The first thing we want to do is make sure we have a secure and firm work area clean of uh, debris so that you can move around. We've mounted our fusion iron to the table and we're going to go ahead and plug it in, but first we're going to do a temperature measurement so you know what we're starting with. So right now we're starting out with an ambient temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The iron needs to come up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That could take anywhere from 10 or 15 minutes to a half an hour. So we'll wait for the unit to come up to heat. Okay, the iron is up to heat. It's about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. We're ready to go ahead and make a fuse. So at this point, we've cut the pipe nice and square and clean. We've wiped the pipe clean and we've also marked our insertion depth. Now we're ready to go ahead and make the fuse. So per the manufacturer's instructions, we're going to go ahead and insert the pipe into the mandrel and we're going to we'll let it set for eight seconds. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand. We're going to go ahead and pull the fitting and the pipe clear. Insert the pipe into the fitting and hold it for another four seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. And at this point, we can set the fitting aside. It has to sit for two minutes until it's ready for the next joint. So, in summary. We're in a, in a very controlled condition here right now. The, uh, the iron is still at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you're in the field and you have a little bit of tailwind or some mist, it can vary between 450 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And that affects the, uh, the, the cycle time of how long you leave the fitting on and how long it takes to join. Uh, it's dangerous. It's very easy to burn yourself on one of these units and to change from one size to the next requires that I unplug the iron and I let the, uh, the elements cool down and then replace the elements and start the process all over again. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn the unit on. Toggle the switch on. The system will take about 25 seconds to run its initial diagnostics and it's also doing an ambient temperature test right now and making adjustments to the weld cycle uh, dependent on the outside temperature. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and attach the fuser. First thing we do is open up the fuser jaws, connect the coaxial cable to the end of the fuser, shut the jaws, and then press the fuser button for two seconds to initiate the fuser. First thing we want to do is cut the pipe nice and square, and then wipe it clean of any debris. Each fitting has a built-in depth indicator. Place the end of the pipe against the depth indicator, and scratch it with a fingernail, or, a, or you can make a mark with a grease pencil. Go ahead and insert the pipe into the fitting until you reach the insertion mark. So at this point, we're going to open the jaws of the fuser, place the fuser jaws around the weld zone on the fitting, depress the button for two seconds, and the fuse cycle starts. A typical one inch IPS fitting will take about 70 seconds to complete the fuse. It may be a little bit plus or minus depending on the ambient temperature. The control unit will do the countdown for you and will signal you when the fusion is complete. So we're just about done. The fusion is complete. Uncouple the fuser from the fitting. The fitting is warm to the touch but won't burn you. When the weld is completed, if you notice in the weld zone that the fuse tails have popped, that gives you a tactile and a visual indication that you've made a successful weld. Making a fuser change is very simple. Simply uncouple one fuser from the, the unit, plug the new fuser back in, open and close the jaws, Reinitiate the fuser and we're ready to go. Thanks for joining us on this workshop. For more information on the Triton Pipe Fusion System, please go to www.tritonpipefusion.com.